welcome to another video on power bi interview questions hope you're watching this series from beginning the next question which you may be asked is what is the difference between generate and cross join both are dex functions generate returns a table that combines each row from table 1 with the result of evaluating table 2 in the context of the current row from the table 1 remember this in the context of the row from table 1 if the evaluation of table 2 for a specific row in a table 1 results in an empty table that row from the table 1 is excluded from the result so it can do a Cartesian product kind of a stuff but it can also do that by using filter from the first table so we let's say we have a start date and end date and we want to generate each date between that then generate can take that row context of start date and end date and can generate a calendar for that now cross join can also do a Cartesian so cross join actually returns a table that containing the Cartesian product of all the rows from all the tables provided as an argument resulting in the table including all the column from argumented tables now while generate can also do Cartesian but it has the flexibility of considering the context from the current row so when to use generate when to use cross join so if simply want a Cartesian product cross join could be do it use generate when you want to apply the filter or evaluate expression for each row in the existing table for instance generating dates between start date and end date for, for each row is more efficiently done with the generate so let's take a quick example let's jump onto the power bi so i am on the power bi and we want to build up a quick example of cross join and generate so let's generate first example of a cartesian product kind of a scenario I'm going to enter a table and let me call it as T1 and in this T1 let me call it as cat column category column and and I'll enter the value A and B that's my T1 table I will create one more table T2 again by using enter data and this time I will have value column and I'll enter the values 1 2 and 3 and let me call this table as t2 load now let me go ahead and generate a table t3 and t4 one by using generate another by using cross join so by clicking on any of the table you will get table tools and inside the table tool you have option for new table and let me use that I'll click on the table new table and T3 is nothing but cross join T1 T2 uh, make sure that uh, there is no common column name otherwise it's going to give error and if you have the common column names you can use select columns to rename those I created T3 using cross join now let me create T4 using generate. So you can see for A the values is repeating 1, 2 and 3. So 1, 2 and 3 are repeating for both A and B in case of generate and the same was true in case of cross join also. It's a Cartesian product. We have two values in one of the table, three values in another table, everything multiplied by everything. We got a Cartesian product. I have one more table, employee table. And now in this employee table, I have a start date and end date and employee ID. And here I don't want to do a Cartesian product kind of thing. What I want here is basically I want to generate the date between the start date and the end date. So let me first tell you how can I do it using generate and then we will see can we do it using the cross join also so I'll click on the new table into the table tool and here I'll call it employee EMP 
extend did one and here i'm going to use the generate function and in the generate function i'll use employee and i'll use calendar function now in the calendar function in the calendar function i'll try to use start date and end date and it is allowing me to use start date and end date okay and as you can see for date 1 it generated all the dates between the 1st january 2018 and 15th of february 2018 same way for the second id it has generated the dates and the third id it generated the date so generate worked pretty well for us now let's try cross join new table from the table tool emp ext2 cross join cross join employee now if i try to take calendar here and i try start date i don't get an option let me write down forcefully actually i'm not able to use those so what i need to do here is then min of employee start date and max of employee end date but what i'm getting here is basically it it will give me more dates and let me try to sort it on employee id i will have dates which is going beyond these dates if uh, i have like in this case i should have dates from 1st january to 31st but if you go ahead down you will see the dates which is going beyond the january which was not the case in the other table where we created employee extension one the second one is only having the date from the month of january we don't have any dates in february for that now to control this what i need to do is further i need to go ahead and create a filter on top of it now it's generated a date column so i can say date should be less than and equal to and now the start date is in the row greater than date is greater than and equal to start date and date is less than and equal to and date and let's try this the first one should be fine let's look at the second one now we can see that the second one is not going beyond january so in this manner we can control it but remember if you have a really big range in the table across the min and max date you will create that such big cross join and post that you are going to reduce the number of dates so in such cases generate is a better option so in this manner you can answer this question and give the example of difference between two thank you for taking time to watch this video your curiosity and quest for the knowledge are what's inspiring this series if you have any question or topics you would like me to explore in this series please let me know in the comments below your support is truly means the world to us it's the reason we create and share these videos if you have enjoyed this content and would like to see more please consider liking sharing and commenting it helps us immensely until next time keep learning and stay connected thank you